Hello everyone, I am Gabriele, welcome to my channel, I am playing, I am playing on Evrima official servers just because and little Paxifalosaurus I was approaching this bush just to, to uh, have uh, a clear vision on where water started so uh, I get to avoid water as much as possible and then run away of course I'm little Paxifalosaurus by the way still growing I am on a perfect diet Mwah! plus 50% growth stage uh, started south if you ask started south and then I went south uh, west for coconuts now a nice feature that I have noticed I don't know if it's uh, it was just by chance because it's been quite a long time since I played Parks for Azores, is that um, when you approach coconut trees they just drop down or already broken those coconuts not not the coconut tree that that would be awesome to have um or even trees as uh, uh as breakable so to say as coconuts but uh, it's a nice uh, it's a nice feeling you know you don't need to actually um destroy the coconut in order to eat it uh i need to keep an eye on my s shape s shape s shape nutrient almost full almost full so i'm gonna pick one up that's the moo of a deer if you hear the moo of a deer you need to be careful and uh, run back to the forest because forest is your friend when you play Pakistan Philosophers. now not, not here not here please i'm still um I, i'm still little i cannot defend myself i cannot run away fast enough from uh, uh, carnivores carnivores are faster than herbivores but herbivores are stronger in skirmishes although Although, uh, I have noticed that uh, Pachycephalosaurus actually inflict damage on uh, uh, headbutt versus charge, inflict damage on a Carnotaurus. I was uh, uh, a Carnotaurus and uh, I gave two charges against one Pachycephalosaurus that was charging back at me with headbutt. I had no idea and uh, I died. I was already low on HP, I was like 20%, but the guy was charging at me and I was like, all right, I charged down and <laughs> it took me down. So you take something like 10% uh, uh, HP out of any Carnotaurus charge. So to say, I am here, headbutting, and the Carnotaurus charge at me and I managed to time perfectly my headbutt on the Carnotaurus charging at me. I inflict damage on the Carnotaurus, at least 10% uh, HP of those HP. I'm talking about a 100% grown Carnotaurus, a fully grown one. Um, that's a very nice feature if you play Pachycephalosaurus. But is it fair considering that Carnotaurus takes 2 hours, 15 minutes to grow from 0 to 100%? Actually, let's say 2 hours with a perfect diet, everything around you. And instead, Paxiflosaurus takes a bit less than uh, two hours. Actually, with a plus 50% grow, um, bonus in growth, it takes only um, one hour to grow, one hour and ten minutes. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. You know, uh, it, it's super cool that Pax... This is very risky for me. I will try. I will try. Jump, jump, jump. All right, Shallows. Shallows have helped me night vision on let's keep night vision on so i'm just here about that carnotaurus uh, uh, stamina it's not good at all it runs out, uh, it, it runs off uh, pretty much very fast if if you run if you charge even faster uh, you deplete stamina super fast uh, that's why i'm playing pachycephalosaurus i need to understand the other point of view because i lost a fight shame on me charging twice a Paxifalosaurus that was head butting me back. It was charging back at me, and I'm, I'm and I'm thinking I'm 1,800 kilograms. Paxifalosaurus is what 500 kilograms, and uh, instead I take damage. I take damage uh, as a Carnotaurus. Uh, uh, I need to understand the other point of view as a Paxifalosaurus. Does Paxifalosaurus take some damage back after it gets charged by a Carnotaurus? or not uh, because 
that Paxiflosaurus that charged back at me at my Carnotaurus charging didn't take any damage and uh, was fast enough, faster than my Carnotaurus. Okay, I, I got kicked. Uh, faster than my Carnotaurus at uh, um, recovering from uh, uh, the cooldown headbutt. I mean, I got stunned as a hundred percent Carnotaurus, and the little Paki instead didn't feel it. Probably uh, it's good, probably it's not. I need to understand how much stamina or how much damage Paxiflosaurus receives back because I cannot under I cannot. Um, make up my mind on a 20% 300 HP uh, Carnotaurus charging at um, a full HP uh, Paxiflosaurus. I need to understand if Paxiflosaurus gets some damage back charging versus headbutt, if uh, it has some cooldown, actually gets some stun or not at all because that Paxi didn't receive any stun but the, my Carnotaurus received a pretty considerable stone you know and Carnotaurus has a bad turning radius not as good as a Paki which turning radius is not that wonderful but still a lot better than uh, uh, Carnotaurus well that's that's all for today it was uh, uh, brief brief but uh, that's my thoughts about Carnotaurus versus Paki mainly headbutt versus charge 100% both species grown fully grown headbutt kinda wins against charge, it inflicts some uh, considerable damage, 180 points of damage against a charge and doesn't receive any stun the Paxiflosaurus, instead the Carnotaurus does. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, uh, good or bad but if the fight could continue I don't think Carnotaurus can actually survive a single Paxiflosaurus, if that is the case I, I need to understand that's why I'm playing Paki. Uh, headbot versus the charge of Carnotaurus needs some rework, probably. Again, uh, my opinion, my opinion, uh, I don't want to upset anyone. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, consider subscribing my channel and have a great day. Bye-bye.